So here we are cutting the fabric for the first part of the Swiss Army Knife costume. Blake is actually using a Swiss Army Knife to make this very precise cut. So we're cutting just two pieces of this white. Um, it's kind of stiff. I think it's called interlacing, but it's quite a stiff one. It's almost like construction paper, but material, because I want to be able to sew stuff to this. Um, these pieces are, uh, I did 29 centimeters by 50 centimeters because I want the entire red piece that goes on top of this to be 30 centimeters wide. So I thought I'd make this a little bit smaller by 120 centimeters, but only the stiff part will be on top so that it'll be easy to sit down and walk. And now I've cut out my my, let's see, this is the knife. So I think it is, oh, I can't remember, um, it's nine centimeters by, I thought I was going to make it longer, but then I realized um, it only is about 89 centimeters long. And then here's the inside of the file, the nail file, and then here's the scissors. So it's two pieces and you hold it, you're going to put something here to let it pivot and you can open and close them like that. So I'll show you what each piece looks like by itself. And, oh, and there's the ninja. So these are the next pieces. We have to duct tape these pieces and then attach them to the body pieces. Hi Emily, I'm just showing you now, I'm going to tape this is my uh, nail file, so I'm just putting this duct tape, this duct tape here, around, like you just take a section like this and put it around, and then you cut it off right here, you have to use your feet, and you cut it off on this side, and then fold it over, cut it off there. Use scissors that you don't care about because it's going to make them all sticky after and fold it over like that. And so I've done that through the whole thing and then at the tip I'm just going to do it straight and then use the scissors to cut the shape afterwards. And also I've bought these little things from Michaels. You know these guys? I think they're like some sort of butterfly thing. And I'm hoping, this is the plan, that this is going to go through here and through one of my chest and back pieces so that and then I'll clamp it shut so that it'll be able to rotate open and shut but you'll see right now it's kind of floppy so I might need to put some sort of chopstick or something to make it stick but I'll keep you posted on that one okay so here's my nail file you can see the, the shape of it at the end here's the scissors so they open and close and because I put this butterfly piece on there. And the, this piece is shorter than this one because it's going to attach to the body here. And then this piece has to be shorter. And then here's the knife. And I wanted to show you, I already cut it, but what I did with the duct tape is for these curvy parts, I made the duct tape flat like this. And then afterwards I went along and cut off the corner to get the shape. It's easier than trying to fold it into that shape. Um, so this is what's left of the duct tape roll. That was a brand new roll and it's just about done. So it took up a lot of duct tape and that was two swords for the kids too. And then here's the body piece. So, so far we have our two white pieces that we cut before. I'm starting to sew them together like that on one side. And then I'll have to do the same thing on this side, so it'll go over my head, like this. And then these pieces are going to attach with a butterfly clip. So make sure that these are not too long, and they're going to pull out from the body, like this. Okay, so here I've started to put this together. So what I've done is sewed these two pieces onto the white, so that's the back, and this is the front. And then I got my big red piece here, and I just sewed it at the top and at the bottom so that it won't 
flop too much open. And you don't have to be too careful with the sewing here because, because this is white, I want it to be black so that it'll blend in with my black outfit. So I'm gonna put hockey tape. You can see I started to put hockey tape. I'm gonna hockey tape this whole thing. Shut. And then on this side, you can see I've attached my all my things with these little those little fasteners. Longer ones would be better, but I had only short ones to work with. So here we have the last two pieces of the Swiss Army knife. This is the toothpick. And this is the tweezers. So for the toothpick, I just took chopsticks and taped them. So it's kind of bumpy, it's not perfect. And um, for the tweezers, I took, you know those kids, um, what are they called? Kids chopsticks where they're already attached. So that's why I've got this big square at the end because it was a dolphin. Anyway, so and I just taped them up. And I put this kind of tape underneath and then that on top so I can peel it off in the the chopsticks will be fine afterwards. And then on the inside, you'll see my Swiss Army knife with all of the pieces attached. And on the inside here, I taped a pocket. So I just got a piece of red and then I duct taped that red on and I made a pocket so that these can slide in. That's gonna go in the back and this one's gonna go in the front here. Okay. So here's the final costume. I cut out this Swiss Army symbol, and there's one for the back. Get and it, so I have all my pieces. I've got my scissors, and I've got my knife, and I've got my uh, nail file, and here's my favorite. I've got my toothpick, and I've got my tweezers.